too far off when we discuss first alert weather tonight. Yeah, we've got Scott Paget with us here to tell us all about it. We are expecting maybe some rain in some areas, Scott, tonight. We are. There's the small chance we could see some showers trying to work their way in through parts of North Texas as we go into the evening hours. Uh, I don't expect a washout. Better rain chances tomorrow. So as you take a look at the first alert future cast, uh, this is now is some newest data coming in, trying to pick up on maybe some storms out to the west, working their way through parts of the Grand or Breckenridge area. And then by the time we go through about 7, 8, near 9 to 10 o'clock, some of that activity trying to drift its way on in. We still have this lid on the atmosphere, so we're going to see that shower activity. Activity, really trying to hold together. Then the front slides its way down to the south. And hold on one second. This is Phoebe, and she has her toy right now that she's deciding she needs to get thrown to me just a little bit. So you go get that. There you go. That's my newest little one for everyone that was wondering. Uh, it's been a couple years since I had a little one here in the home. As you take a look, all right, extending ahead, we have some scattered shower activity storms going into tomorrow as this cold front's going to be moving its way on in and it brings the relief that we definitely want. Maybe a strong to possibly severe storms in the southeast sides of North Texas going into tomorrow evening. And then we have that front moving through. Still some leftover rain for your Saturday night. So for your Saturday, slight risk of severe storms, the southeast sides of North Texas for maybe 60 mile per hour wind gusts and some quarter size hail. Model comparison of our temperatures. So you see that the high resolution, the European and the graph all in the mid 90s, the North American model in the upper 80s for tomorrow. It all depends on the timing. Now that was for about four o'clock into the afternoon. So for tomorrow, I am seeing our temperatures. I'm thinking in the low 90s, about 91 in the forecast. Then the front moves through. Rain and storm chances around 30 percent, going to 50 percent, as you saw on that first alert future cast. Sunday, this is the relief that we've been talking about. We've been wanting low 70s for the highs. Now, right now, the satellite and radar combined, seeing a little bit of cloud cover here or there. A couple of showers out to the west, west of Breckenridge. We'll watch them as we go into the evening hours. Also some down in Hill County that's now dissipated. So a lot of sunshine greeting you and the threat tonight was marginal to then slight risk of severe storms. That yellow area for the 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Where are we sitting right now? 94 mostly cloudy skies and a windy one. South winds at 20 gusting up to 30 miles per hour into your night tonight. Temperatures down uh, may they're saying mid 70s for us factoring in those storms moving through. It all depends. I still think low 90s to the upper 80s and then into tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to make it up to about 91 ish before the front moves through and then that cool air settles in and more rain chances on the way as another front moves in Tuesday. We dry out by next Thursday and